Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be part four and the final uh, series, final video in the series for recreating this this piece. Um, I'm sure there's a, a correct name for what this is, bushing or uh, uh, hold down uh, insert in order to adapt it to work with my compound. Um, so the, the next step where we left off, we got our material turned down to replace this with what will be the new one, um, and we're ready for threading. And if you saw my test cuts in an earlier episode, earlier video, I chipped my thread cutting tool, and it was, uh, had the right pitch and everything, but uh, now I need to replace that. Let's continue the, uh, so I, I gotta grind, I, can, I think I can regrind this to use it to some degree. I put, uh, I did mark it. I'd have to really take off quite a bit of material and I, and I will at some point, cause I don't wanna just throw this away. It's still got some usable, uh, I assume that's carbide on the end. So I will regrind this, but I'm thinking, well, I need to get a new thread cutting bit insert or something but I did buy these inserts and I started looking um, and lo and behold it's got the right pitch which maybe I mean this may be obvious to some of you out there but for me you know I'm still figuring all this stuff out so I'm just gonna use and maybe that's the intention of this the straight one is for thread cu thread cutting um, rather than the offset head so this is what we're gonna use to scratch in our uh, our new thread on what will be this, but it'll be a little bit shorter. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this to recreate this thread. So I'll get you mounted up. All right, let's get started. We're going to create this thread. I'm going to put it in there as much as I can up to the shoulder. Since I'm doing it by hand, I can get pretty close and we'll use our actual tool post uh, for testing the filament. So what I'm going to do, got this all locked down and What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this by hand. I am not going to use the power feed. I'm going to lock my carriage. And when I rotate this, it will move my uh, carriage compound back and forth. So I'm just going to do this by hand and we'll slowly get this in and, uh, and we'll get our threads cut. So, this will be kind of a fast forward because um, this will be a slow process on my side. Let's get started. You get the process. I'm not gonna, I don't really see the need to record all that and then fast forward it. It'll probably fast forward anyway. So I'm gonna pause it here, bring it back when I have that uh, thread cut in. All right, welcome back. I've got, I just did most of this by hand um, cause I didn't, I just didn't wanna mess it up. I'm this far into this uh, piece that I'm making. So in theory, this should thread onto the bottom of the, the tool base just like just like this one did um, so hopefully we got that recreated the way we should um, let's give it a test fit again I'm just gonna screw this on here let's see if I can get it started that 
it looks pretty good. Nice and tight. It's a good fit. Um, so the next thing I'll do is just use some, a little bit of a file and clean up the threads a little bit and some emery cloth or some scotch Bright, and just clean that up a little bit. Um, and then I'll think about what my next steps are. Um, let's get this back off of here. So that's gonna work. Well, I hope that's gonna work. So now, if I got my measurements correct, if I got my measurements correct, this shoulder should be where it should put pressure when I screw this down onto the inside of, of here, there's a lip, and this will thread into the bottom of it. And that should allow this to freely move. And then the bolt will keep this piece on. So let's get this cleaned up and I'm gonna disengage that before we make a mess. Let's get this cleaned up and then uh, we'll think about what our next step is. I wanna make sure I don't unchuck this until I'm absolutely ready to do it. I don't wanna chamfer this edge. I might just hit it with a, a file a little. I, I, I don't actually think I'm going to because I want as much shoulder material as I can down in the bottom of that. Um, same with this top. Let me just barely hit it with a file just so it's not super sharp. It's not bad, but let's grab a file. There we go. So the next steps, I think the next step is to take this out of here and check the fit and just actually mount it, kind of set it up here, get it mounted, and then just see, see what we're dealing with before we go any further. Um, I think I'm gonna leave this head basically as large as it is we're nearly done um, other than mounting it and testing it out. Um, I do think I'll have to modify this. I think this is too long. Um, so I'll have to cut the threads down on this. Um, the other thing I wanna do is get the gears changed. I wanna test fit it first because I wanna put my gears back the way they were. And you know, this finish is horrible. And I think it's due to the gearing that I had to cut these threads. Um, that's fine for what this is. this It's not like they machined theirs fantastic either. Um, you'll never see it. It's just, uh, it's just a piece that's gonna be down in there. Um, so the next step I'm gonna do is get this taken out of here um, and do a test fit of the new tool holder. Um, in theory, this should be at a point where I can use it now and it's ready to go. Just needs cleaned up. I will have to modify the bolt, like I said, but let's get this mounted up and see where we stand. First thing I'm gonna do, let's pause the video for a moment. Carry on, clean this off. Something worth writing down. I think I'm gonna go ahead and measure that now since this is off of there. The bottom of the the bottom of the screw length cannot exceed 682 thou. I'm gonna write that down because I'll need that measurement. I'll need that measurement.
when I go and modify that screw for the length because it'll be going on here down in here so I don't want it to rub on the top of the so it's, it's just a through hole and it rub against the, the sliding portion of the compound when we, we don't want that um, so I think we're ready to <clears throat> give this a test fit it's gonna go like that let's get our trying to think any if there's anything else other than chamfer which I'm not going to uh, because I want as much material as possible I don't want to chamfer this because I want as much flat material as possible I may have to use a spacer or a washer like I said before it looks something like this maybe I may have to drill that out a little bit I got another one here Let's see if it fits This is a little bigger than the other one, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna take it out of there and we're gonna mount this up, kind of do a mock, a mock mount up. So before we do that, here's the original and there's my new piece. You can see the distance, the length is a little different the top is irrelevant. We'll see what see. We'll see how we did. Put this back on here. It slides down in there. It threads into the top. It might need so I might need to that's okay so I think what I need to do I think uh, I need to take a little bit off of this shoulder back this way in order to give myself a little more clearance because what's happening is this top portion actually that's what I need to do is take some off of this top portion this top portion is pushing down on on this where, which we don't want it to we want it to seat on this bottom portion and this top portion will be free until until I crank this down. Once you crank that down, it pushes up like that, and it pushes all of this down. Um, so let me double check. I'll measure with the calipers, but it must be that my length is just a little strong, and it is, I can see it even. So I need to take a little bit off of this top lip there. So I'm going to get that mounted up there and we'll do that here in a second. I just want to double check over here with the calipers and then we'll get this mounted back up. So I'm just uh, doing trial and error fit. I don't want to go too much. I'm just taking a little bit off of this shoulder so that when this seats, this doesn't just smash down the top until you engage it. So let's take a little more off. fitting it on here until I can get it to tighten down and this top piece see it it moves it's just not not as freely as I want well there we go 
So that's, that's it. That's what I was going for. So that's seated down. So now I think that's going to work. I'm going to bring you over here. Um, got some ideas. I need to be able to fasten that down in, in here. Um, I don't have a mill. So let me, let me mount you on the other tripod here. All right, well, I think I've got this set up pretty, pretty good. Um, so here's the idea. We'll be mounted up there. We'll get this on there. Um, and then as you tighten this down, once it's mounted with this, as you pull this in, it's going to put pressure on the bottom of that and lock everything in. So I need to get this to be able to, there we go, tighten down nice. That moves freely, that's good. Um, if I had a mill, I would actually mill some flats in here so I could use a wrench, a crescent wrench or a spanner wrench of some sort, and I could lock it down. But I don't have a mill. Um, the other thing I could do is cut a slot across the top, and that way I could use a screwdriver or, or something to... to tighten this down um, I'm gonna think about what I want to do for that but for now I'm gonna gonna kind of hand tighten it and just mock this up on the compound and see if it functions the way I intend I don't see any need to cut this down it's not gonna interfere with anything the original one was going to have this nut anyway on the top so um, Let's get this mocked up. This will have to be cut down um, a little bit, but for now, I just wanna, maybe I'll throw some washers in there. I just wanna get this mounted up and see if this piece that I made is gonna work. Let's get this one out of here. Clean off some of the mess. Okay. So this is how this will be. Let's make sure we clean the chips off because I don't want anything underneath. Clean that off. So that's going to mount there like this. Put this on in a minute. Here's my new custom piece that I made. It's gonna seat down in here like this. Again, that's, that doesn't mount to this, it just keeps it from there. It doesn't interfere with that. Should not be riding on top of that. Yep, so that's not pushing it up at all when it finally seats, so that's good. I will need to figure out a way. I'll probably have to cut a slot in here so I can use a screwdriver because I want to be able to tighten that down. Um, and then finally, this is too long, but See if I have something else. This one would be too short, no doubt. Um, do I have anything a little longer? Nope. 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 So this is this is what I have. So I need to get some some washers here. Just, again, this is just a test fit. No, I do have, no, that won't work. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some washers just, just cause I wanna mount this in and I wanna test it and see, see how it works before I cut down this bolt. Okay, we got you back. Um, I'm just gonna tighten this down. Um, this is just a mock-up. I do need to modify this bolt uh, on top. But for now, I just want to 
just test this in theory, this concept. Just tighten this up. I probably need like a lock washer or something because I want to I don't want this to back off I need to figure that out this had the original one had this nut on top and it's got these serrations so perhaps that keeps it from backing off so maybe a lock washer or um, something on top of here that would help keep it from backing off but I'm gonna have to figure that out because if this tightens down too much, then this doesn't move. But then as I move this, then this comes loose. So I'm missing something here. Let's tighten that down again. Maybe it's, because I was thinking that this, this should, when I put my tooling in there, when I tighten that down, that's what should lock all this in. So if we have this open, and we slide in one of these tool holders, and then I tighten that down, that's what should lock this. So I need to figure that out, because this, Let's give this a shot. Take this back off. Because this, I want this. Hmm. I'll do some thinking here. Should fit there. Oh, almost the right size. Let me grab a different one. All right. Here's a new, another one. Let's try a lock washer and see, because really I just need this to, to st stick in place, but I need this to freely move. Let's see what happens here. That's, that's what I want. Let's tighten this down. Just see it still moves. So I am missing something. I gotta figure this out, but let's just finish our test concept. I tighten this up, it moves a little, but if I tighten that down, Missing something. I'm going to figure this out. I'll bring you back. So the idea is that you fasten down your tool post so it can't move around. Um, but the quick change aspect is is fully functional without loosening up your uh, the entire tool post. So you can quickly put your tool holders on, snug it down, it's not going anywhere, loosen it up, put your other tooling in, snug it down, you know, repeat. So it's got the two, two directions here. And again, it's all snug down, nice, nice and tight. So, that's that's how it's going to be. Um, what I want to do is put a slot in. Take this off. So my my part worked. Um, my bolt's going to work. My part worked. Things are coming together. Um, the I need to cut this down so that it can mount flush here, um, and I'm just going to use the 
the old quick change tool post to just kind of get this mounted up in there and just whittle away the portion that I don't need, chamfer the end. There we go. I'll probably clean off the, the top too, just to make it look nicer. And that's gonna take care of, of the mounting of this quick change tool post. The, the other thing that I wanna do is figure out a slot for the top of this. And I think what I might do, maybe I'll use a hacksaw. I just need a, a, a square, uh, I think for a flat blade, I'm gonna make it to where I can put in uh, you know, big screwdriver. Let me go get that and I'll show you. So this is the biggest screwdriver I've got. Uh, but I'm thinking if I was to just cut it all the way through, then I could use this to tighten that down and that would fasten that in. Cause right now I'm just hand tightening it and it's, it's, uh, you know, maybe it's not all that important. I just don't want it to come loose because ultimately I'm going to be using a, a nut to tighten it all down. So maybe, maybe that's not all that important. Um, anyway, I'm just thinking about that. I may hold off on putting that slot there. Let's get the screw taken care of first, or the bolt, and then mount it up and just see see what we're thinking. Um, it would be nice to to be able to tighten that down better. I I really I mean I guess I could file some flats in the side, and then I could use a a spanner wrench in order to crank it down that way. Um, but again, it's. Uh, it's not too bad now. I mean, it, it, you can get it tight enough on there, I think. So, I don't know. I'll think about that. But right now, I think the next step is to get this trimmed down to the size that we need. So I need to determine just how much I need to take off. So let's just screw that down until it touches. Okay, so that's touching the the top slide of this. So we need to remove at least that much material, which is about 25, 250 thou. Let's take 250 thou off of the end of the, the threaded portion, and then we'll go from there. We'll do a test fit. Um, I think 250 thou will be just plenty because I may put a lock washer on there. I may not. I don't think I want to initially, if I don't need it. Um, I kind of like the idea of it not having a lock washer. Um, there, I got that tightened down a little more. Let's see what that is. Maybe, maybe I need more than that. Yeah. I'm gonna go with 300 thou. I think that will be plenty Okay, 300 thou. Will give me plenty of room. So let's get that mounted up. Take this off. Put the old one back on. Got my washers. But see, the way I've got this one, I I can't, I have to loosen this up every time I want to change my tooling. Um, this other one, I should not have to do that. So, tighten that down. That's pretty good there. Well, relatively good. And let's put this in here. Again, we want to take off about 300 thou. We've got lots of thread on here, so it doesn't really matter, but uh, get my caliper set. Let's 
get this in here. Okay, and then we want 300 thou. One of these days, a DRO or something would be really nice. But for now, I just want to come in to about there. Yeah. So I'm going to start there and just knock the threads off. And because then I, I just want to remove all of that material. So I'm going to start here. That way I know how far to, to bring it in. And we'll just work our way and get rid of that material. Okay, now is the moment of truth. There is some refinement that I'd like to do uh, if this works, but uh, for now, I think we have this cut down to size. Looks a little nicer, got that cut down. Let's get this off, hopefully for the last time, so we can start using something a little more substantial. So let's get this off of here. that out take that off of there and we want to clean again we'll clean up where that is I don't know if it makes sense to put oil underneath there or not I suppose it'll probably get its fair share of oil under there anyway
So there is that. I've still got this top. It's just hand tightened down. I don't think that's going to really make much of a difference. It's not like it's going to come out of there. Um, the next step, I'm going to do this without a lock washer to begin with. Um, there we go. It is threading down in there. Take that out there. We want to make sure we're not rubbing on top of the that top slide. That's down. Let's tighten this. Let's see. I don't want it at a slight angle. Or we could put it like that. That's how it'd be faced. But for now, since I have this at an angle, I'm gonna go with that. Tighten this down. That's not going anywhere. That moves freely. And we have There we go. It's successfully mounted. So now it's time to do some test cutting and test fitting, center this up and see how it works. But uh, there, now I have a wedge style quick change tool post that I hope is far more substantial than we had before. I'm gonna call it a success. I could refine this, I could remake this piece with uh, something a little larger, but this is gonna work very well. Um, I used, the only thing I had to buy was a drill bit. So everything I had in my possession, I used, um, and I got this thing mounted. Uh, I didn't modify anything that came with the original. Um, I left everything as it was in case I get a new compound and these parts will work for some reason. So I'm gonna hang on to all this stuff. Um, but I was able to rethink it. There's the old stuff. I was able to rethink it and get this thing mounted and use and learn some stuff along the way. I'm going to I'm going to conclude the video series here with with a, and call this a success. You're going to see plenty of test cuts using this thing in upcoming videos, but for now, that was the idea is getting this thing mounted and functional. And uh I'm going to call that, that a success. I'm really happy with that. Um, this works very well. And it feels a lot more substantial. So hopefully this will improve some of my cuts. Um, I need to get my gearing changed back out to the, what it was before. I may end up taking this out and cleaning up the shaft a little bit. The one, if you remember, it, it the finish is absolutely horrible on it. It doesn't really matter for the function of it, but... Not real happy with the aesthetics of it, but overall, I'm gonna, I'm pretty happy with this, uh, and I look forward to using this new tool post. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, hope to see you on the next video.